So, when they painted this, whoever painted this, they didn't paint the little edge here. They put the whole thing together. And the little places where the tabs are might not be important to some. But I wouldn't want it done like that if it were mine. I understand why it was painted together, and we're going to put this one back together when we do the airbrushing on it. But for now, I gotta say, and you hear it a lot, what's the first thing to do? Well, the first thing to do when you're going to paint your motorcycle, I've learned, is you got to get it so you can sheet paint at every edge. You got to get it that way ahead of time. In other words, while you can handle the piece, while you can handle the piece, find a way for it to, uh, I call it popsicle, because it's like putting it on a popsicle stick, I'll show you in a second. We call it, Mrs. Milo and I, call it, hey, is that bike popsicle and ready to go? Now this one ain't ready to go, I'm just showing you. What I've learned to do is make sure I can get at every angle. Let me get this thing rotating a little. You like this part. This is almost flashy right here. Make sure you can get in there at every angle with your gun and hit every edge. Right? I got these on these little rotisseries that I've come up with. Here's one with the foot pedal. Got the little foot pedal going right here. But ahead of time, before you start doing body work even, Know that you're going to be able to, uh, you know, practice a little bit. I can get that edge. I can get that edge. I can get that edge. I can turn. I can get that whole edge. I can get up in there. This is the part on that other bike that ain't painted. See? Want to get those edges and be able to get every little angle. Because that's what your your customer's going to be looking for. Got to get every little angle. Here's more of a popsicle right here. Check this out. See how that's on a stick? This one's on a stick right here. Just a couple clamps arranged on some aluminum tubing. We got a big bore going in that hole there. But I can hold that in my hand when I'm painting it. I can turn it at every angle. And get it from the back a little. Get every edge. Get every little tab. These are the tabs that everyone w wouldn't show, you know? If you put this thing together to shoot it, of course you're going to get that. But the mistake people make, I think, is they get the parts all prepped. And in the end, they get them all prepped and nice and clean, and then they start handling them, trying to find a way to uh, paint them when they're all prepped. So you want to get that out of the way first. Watch this trick with the tape. Here comes the tip of the day. I'm going to start the tape like that. I'm going to turn it over so the sticky side is out. See what I do? I just twisted it around so it's sticky to sticky. See that? Here we go. Kind of like those things you get the lint off your sweater with. Maybe you wear a sweater. Kind of bunch it up on there like that. Sticky side out, right? Put some uh, flat black in here first before we pin it. Just show me. Now that's good and sticky right there. Just find it's kind of center of gravity there, or whatever. Uh, hit that with a gloved paint hand. And that's something you can control. That's something you can control. See that? See how the tape is holding that? You wouldn't do that in the paint booth, right? But you got a way to get at each edge. And control it in one hand, paint gun in the other, and put it back on that stick right there. Right? Here's another one. I can handle that with one hand and get every edge with my paint gun. Come from the back first a little bit, right? Get those little tabs. So the first thing you do, before you even start, start grinding sandpaper or whatnot, you're going to hear, what sandpaper should I work? I use first? No, it's not sandpaper deal. 
You got to popsicle them. You got to get them ready, so... Well, you heard the story now, right? So this is kind of a progress report with the tip in it. The tip being that... Uh, reversing the tape. And then, you got to do it again and again every job. Just get it started on there, turn it over. It isn't an all day thing. It's kind of fun, really. Uh huh. Yeah. And just the friction of the tape will hold it on this jig. So, the best advice is going to be when you're painting your motorcycle. And a lot of guys tune in to see what the hell's going on. Glove tan or something right there. Wow, that's good. You know, that'll hold. That'll hold it. That's manageable. That there's manageable. You can get every edge. You can get these little tabs. Psst, psst, psst. And I try to rehearse. I've been doing this a long time. And I still rehearse. I want it, I want my brain to record what's going to happen. I'm recording in my head where all these little nooks and crannies are. And I see I can get to them all. So, you get a welder, and you go to town, and you make some jigs. I guess the last one was a red one, right? See that? If you just lay them out, or if you try to hang them from strings, they blow around. Check this out. The inventor guys are going to like this one. Check this one. I got the little tape balls on there. I got an upside down tripod that locks into there. See that? That used to be a camera tripod. Oh, yeah. See that? These adjust for different panels. I could put a big old side panel off one of them big BMW CHP bikes on here. Because it adjusts way out, right? We're in. Yeah, let's find a couple sweet spots for those little tapes to grab. I had it on there, and then I started fooling around, right? About like that, like that. Here we go, like that. And little tapes making up enough friction. Tighten her down. Step on the foot pedal. Practice. See where all the problems are going to be. Want to get that edge. Want to get that edge. Want to get that edge. Want to get all this in base color. We're going to get all this in base color, and now, since we have this going up here, our model, we know we can take these pieces and mount them right where those pieces are. We already got kind of a sawhorse thing going there. It's going to let us get, in, get ready for the shading part. So it's not about just throw it on the ground, sand it, and squirt paint. you got to kind of think them through. you got to think them through. This is all in its final little skim coat of a... What am I using on there? Some putty on there. Two part putty. Always two part. Always two part. New law. Always gotta use two part stuff. Bringing us back around to the government. Oh shit, no, not the government. They're still talking. Same stuff. These guys are scary. Speaking of scary. It's Halloween month. Anyways, what was I doing over here? What we got over here is some wet sanding. Oh yeah, we're wet sanding the putty. Because I don't like the dust in my nose all the time. I'm just using this stuff. But you got to use a two-part putty because that other stuff, it just shrinks in and causes more trouble. You can wet sand this stuff. Nice. See, I'm just using the paint stick and some 180. I'm going to trim that in and find those low spots. And you know the rest, then it's prime time. I put some tape along where I didn't want to have to pick it off later. I always garden what I'm doing. There's my piece over there. Someday this will be painted. <laughs> it's been years. That thing keeps uh, just coasted along with me. It was on the table last week, remember? 
So I'm not going to bore you with body work. The tip of the day is the, the way we did the masking tape. Masking tape back on itself, causing enough friction to keep things tight. All right? I don't see anybody putting some tubes up there. Come on, you guys. Let's get back to work. Weekend's over. It's Monday. Let's roll on this BMW. I'll get back with you.